Well, good Monday morning to you. It is Monday, May 4th, and it is time for the live check-in. Going to go over this week's expectations and assignments. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Teams. I'll be happy to do what I can to, to direct you in the right direction or guide you in any areas you may be struggling with. So on the screen, you see this week's care. You see the Canvas homepage. Um, I'm still getting a number of people sending me emails and messages that they don't know how to find the work in Canvas. Um, not to be mean, but it helps if you read the page because it says right here, please click on the appropriate week below to access the coursework. So if you read that, you know that these are buttons and this week is May 4th. So you click on that button and it takes you to this week's playlist. Now you've got your objectives for this week and your weekly activities. All of this has been the same the last seven weeks we've been doing online learning. Uh, one thing that's different this week that tomorrow, May 5th, is a work day. There will be no work expectations for that day. That doesn't mean if you want to work and you want to get ahead and get stuff done so you don't have to do it later this week, that's fine. But there will be nothing expected of you as far as class goes for tomorrow. These are your graded assignments for this week. The Sunlit Ocean assignment or the Sunlit Ocean questions, the Twilight Zone assignment questions, and then the CFA on Oceans on Friday. This check-in video will be linked right here so that you can always come back and watch it um, if you need to uh, th this week there will be no live lessons it's just a check-in where I can get together with you see if there's any issues any problems talk about maybe something you may be missing that type of thing so for this week you're going the all of the lessons are recorded here you've got the upwelling lesson that you need to to watch and then the check-in that goes with the upwelling lesson that is it for today tomorrow like I said before um, is a work day so there's no work expectations for you uh, on Wednesday the 6th you've got this lesson on hydrothermal vents and cold seeps uh, it is a rather long lesson so if you want to watch this on a different day, if you have time, um, and then complete the Sunlit Oceans assignment on Wednesday or complete the Sunlit Oceans assignment on another day where you have time and then watch the video. The video is a little long, but it's necessary to cover all the stuff on hydrothermal vents and cold seeps. Uh, the Wednesday and Thursday assignments and Friday assignments um, are a little bit more unique. You're going. You're not going to be using uh, Discovery Ed this week. You're also not going to be um, using Can um, Google Classroom this week. All of the assignment work is going to be done in Canvas. So you've got the assignment here, Sunlit Ocean, Sunlit Ocean assignment. That's a link to the assignment here in Canvas. This link right here is a link to the article that you're going to read to answer these questions. And then you've got the eight questions. So you've got a couple of options here. You can put them on paper. If you're a paper, pencil and paper person, you can just write the questions on paper, write the answers on paper. Then when you go into the assignment, you can just type in your questions and answers. Or you can go to a Google Doc. You can copy these eight questions into a Google Doc and just answer the questions in a Google Doc and then submit the Google Doc to uh, Canvas. One thing about that, if you choose to do that, you have to make sure you go in and give Canvas permission to access your Google Drive. If you have a struggle, you want to do it that way, but you don't know how, just reach out to me on Teams and I will walk you through that. So that is the assignment. It, it looks long. It's eight questions, but honestly, it's pretty short. It should take you maybe 10 minutes to do. Uh, Thursday is the longest of the assignments. It's the twilight, twilight zone of the ocean. There are 10 questions. Same process. You got the assignment listed here, the link to the assignment here. You got the link to the page where all the answers are here and you got the 10 questions here. So again, you can either write that and type it or you can do copy it into Google Docs and upload the Google Doc. 
on Friday. You've got a review lesson, so I would I would encourage you not to watch the review lesson till after you've watched the other two lessons this week. After you watch the review lesson, I would complete I would complete the midnight zone assignment first. It's six questions. It's not very long. Maybe take you five, six, seven minutes to do. Once that midnight zone assignment is done, then take the CFA on Mastery Connect. Um, I will be updating this information here so that it gives you specific names of the CFA. So that will be set up for you later today. That is the playlist for this week. Um, again, if you need to go back to pick up something you didn't get from last week or the week before, I didn't take any grades before April 20th. So April 20th week is the first week. Um, Make sure you watch the video on April 20th so that you can see what the graded assignments are. I changed last week so that all of the graded assignments are actually listed in the playlist to make it easier for you. So that's this week's playlist. If you have any problems, please come see me. I'm happy to help out. We can video chat and I can show you on my screen what you need. Just let me know. Have a great day. May the 4th be with you.